This week on Air Boss, it's the Memphis Air Show, and Wayne is down to the wire when the one show he must bring in on time refuses to cooperate. And the crowd favorite, Jet Truck, prepares for a grudge match race that has the entire air show community sweating. You think you know air shows? Think again. Airboss Dynamite Radio Jet. Dynamite you loud and clear. They're just looking at them like, yeah! And they're like, yeah! No excuses. You get those aircraft moved now. Did it go? If I could get my hands on that man's neck, I'd choke his ass. Keep the game face on and stay focused. Constantly working very, very hard to make him look good. When I jumped out of the airplane and I and I knew where she was gonna crash, I couldn't look. The air boss is screaming, climb, climb. Uh, I remember thinking, hey buddy, you wanna switch spots and I'll holler at you. He's not just the boss. I am the air boss. A good day is at the end of the air show and you got no hits, no runs, no errors. Millions of people flock to air shows to marvel at death-defying acts of high-octane aviation. It's a place where dreams are born, but also where triumph can turn to tragedy in a heartbeat. The success or failure of an air show is in the hands of one man. I've got my eyes on you, so if you're outbound, I'll tell you to turn inbound if I need you. I'm Wayne Boggs. I am the air boss. Wayne Boggs is a former Marine and air traffic controller and the brother of a baseball Hall of Famer. An air boss is the conductor of the air show. Bearcat, you are now the lead. This is your last pass. You're being left out one for runway seven right. To choreograph sometimes well over 100 different airplanes in the air at the same time is a little bit on the mind-boggling side. So you've got to be able to to pay very, very close attention and keep your wits about you and not forget where anybody is. And that all of them that you put in the air, you want to make sure that all of them return on the ground. Welcome to Millington, Tennessee, home to the Memphis Air Show and home to a reunion of sorts for the Air Boss. One thing at uh, the Memphis Air Show, uh, history-wise, is sort of unique to me. I was actually stationed at Millington there in the Marine Corps and used to fly to that airport in a, an S-2 tracker to go home and visit my parents. So it's sort of nostalgic to be able to go back to that airport and actually uh, work there as, uh, as an air boss. It's, it's sort of unique and it's, it's sort of rewarding to me. I haven't had an encounter with Elvis yet, but I'm still looking for it just in case he does return. And uh, it's, a, it's a great place to eat barbecue. <laughs> it's going to be a jam-packed day for Wayne who is bossing both day and night shows, and an action-packed one for hordes of fans anxiously awaiting the show headliner, Jet Truck. One of the most exciting and popular air show acts on the circuit, the Jet Truck is driven by Chris Darnell, who is joined on the road by his wife, Brooke, mechanic Wayne, and swarms of eager fans. Jet trucks in the uh, air show industry are a big draw. We being airplane folks, we still haven't figured out why they're a big draw, but there's uh, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people that want to see the jet truck. I actually took a ride in it when I was seven years old, and now I'm 31 and driving it, so it's a cool story. There's a lot of travel involved, but uh, my kids and wife travel with me some. They are here this weekend. This is Wayne's first season traveling with me. He's worked for us for, shoot, 10 or 12 years probably at home. One thing about this truck, it makes us all celebrities. <laughs> Even the Wayner. Well, and I think no they bad. also like the fact that we're a family. We did a performance, and we came off the runway and pulled up to where we are going to leave, and he had thousands of people just standing there looking. You know, I get out of the, the Corvette, and they're just looking at me. I'm like, yeah, and they're like, yeah. <laughs> you know, cheering with us. Standing awesome. ovation type awesome. thing. As Wayne readies himself for the long day ahead, he takes a moment to prepare his assistant, Carrie, for what they'll be up against. We have a jet team, uh -huh. so we're back on a really a precise schedule. If your show happens to have a jet team, such as Memphis, we have the uh, Canadian Snowbirds. 
it's very, very important that the show be on time and the airspace be turned over to them at that particular time. Due to the fact that they are going to be here again doing their briefings, their walk downs, everything is, is timed right to the minute. If it's going to change, you've got to give them a lot of advance notice. If, it, if you do not, it definitely becomes a safety factor for them. Now, I'd really like to know how that cod's going to be ready to go here. <laughs> oh, this ain't good. Is that cod started up down there yet? It is starting, boss. Thank you very much. Ghost Rider, how much longer? 15 seconds. Obviously, there are some performers that didn't get the memo that we're supposed to stay on time today. It's a good thing we're running behind, because Greg is taxiing around the middle of the parachute drop area. Huh? Forced to do it by Ricky. I don't think I While Wayne is already starting his day in the red, Chris and his crew gear up for their headlining race against an airplane manned by rival pilot Kyle Franklin in what is shaping up to be an extremely hostile matchup. It's not rigged. It's not uh, like professional wrestling or anything like that. They, one or the other does try to win. It bothers the air show pilots to see everybody just out milling around during the planes flying, and I'm talking pretty much all of them. And then all of a sudden, they hear this beast spire up, and they just run for the fence. It's about airplanes flying, not jet trucks running down the runway. And You know, it is a truck, but it's a truck with three jet engines on it. Tell me that that doesn't deserve to be a headliner at an air show. I mean, all right, so he's got jet engines on it, but, you know, it's an air show. It's for airplanes, not jet trucks running down the runway. I mean, that's. One reason we're always doing races and stuff is just to prove that, you know, we can outrun the jet truck even though he's got all that all that power and everything, you know, we can still beat him. And this photo is going to be used on the front cover of World Air Show News, and there's never been anything but an airplane ever on the cover of World Air Show News, so it's a big deal. Yeah, it don't make much sense in being on the cover of a pilot magazine either. I mean, he's a driver. He's a truck driver. He's not, he's not a pilot. I mean, so he's got jet engines on it. Oh, yeah, but he's still a truck driver. Meanwhile, as Wayne continues to claw his way back from early delays, another unwelcome surprise is in store. Aircraft 4-4, four, four. air boss. 4-4, four, four, boss. We were told you want to make a pass, check for fire. OK, I just, uh... Am I going out over the air? God darn it. Why am I going out? Air yeah, boss, radar for the freeze radar taxi to uh, Alpha. OK, ready to try to. Dano, why am I broadcasting out over the PA? You're pumping up so much power, you're bleeding over onto him. So if you can, if it's possible. Jesus, come on, man. The sound guy doesn't fix this. Uh, not only pull his little arms off and beat him with him, I'll strap him to the back of the jet truck. Wayne's day is off to a terrible start, with immediate delays putting him behind schedule at the one show he must bring in on time. And now, his voice is projecting across the entire air show. If someone doesn't fix this soon, Wayne's gonna blow a fuse. The Memphis Air Show is off to a rough start for Wayne, who is already behind schedule at a show that must be brought in on time. And now, his headset is being projected for the whole air show to hear. If this doesn't get resolved, Wayne's going to throw someone off the rooftop. Aircraft 44, air bomb. 44, stand by. 44, stand by. Jet truck, air bomb. Jet truck, boss. Uh, we are wanting permission to head back to our little camps up there. Yeah, proceed as requested. We're working very, very hard to get the show back on schedule. Uh, I, the one thing that I do not want to happen is have to call the snowbirds and say I uh, need to slip anywhere from 5 to 15 minutes. Uh, in the midst of all this, my voice is blasting out over the, uh, the PA system to all these people. So if they don't get this fixed, there is going to be trouble. Uh, I've got enough to worry about here with the schedule without uh, worried about saying some colorful adjective out over the, to the crowd. Raiders, where'd you want to taxi to? Make a right turn out here, go to Alpha. Alpha? Is the uh, jet truck coming down Alpha? OK, right turn out on that is Bravo. Um, I'll tell you what, I can put you on the runway. You can back taxi all the way down the runway. 
We'll do that, boss. Thank you. Do it now. Sorry about that. No, you can't. There's nothing you can do. It, yeah. it didn't make that much difference. You have to do what you have to do. I don't know why it's bleeding. Over. <laughs> no sweat. No sweat. I didn't mean to mess up no, him. He didn't, he didn't. I know. Now that Wayne's headset is fixed, he must refocus on getting the show back on track. And with the headlining race fast approaching, Chris and his crew taxi out to the runway. The aircraft is much, much more flexible than the jet truck. The, the jet truck, about all it can do is sit there at the moment, but the aircraft can torment it. It's like a, uh, a small, furry, little woodland animal sitting on the ground and a bird, you know, that is swooping down trying to get that furry, little woodland animal to get away from its bird nest. Here he comes. Oh, boy. Whenever we're out here, these guys get a kick out of flying over and buzzing us, making us go deaf. Tomorrow, they'll be laughing about it at Bree. And I tell you, if Kyle gets any lower, we're all going to get a haircut. the worst part of a show, I think. Just getting ready, anticipation, adrenaline's running. Once you get in the car, then game face is on and you're ready to go. This is like our sacred 30 minutes. Good time for Chris to sit in the truck. Nobody's talking to him. He's thinking about his performance. He's thinking about where he's gonna go, you know, what he's gonna do. He's, it's all going on in his mind. You know, the what ifs, everything. While Chris and his team try to fend off the taunts from Kyle's plane overhead, Wayne's complications are just getting started. That we are most proud of. His name is Skip Stewart, one of the most entertaining airship pilots in the world today. Scratch? He has over 8,000 hours of flying problems? experience. He's an airline transport pilot, a certified we're still trying to get the show back on time. Uh, I've just been informed that Julie Clark uh, has a mechanical. I've got to, they've got to keep me informed in the, on this uh, because I may have to rewrite the entire schedule. She may or may not be able to fly. This is a, a problem that I had not counted on. It's gonna affect the schedule one way or another. And uh, hopefully this is the last uh, situation that's going to cause us to uh, have heartaches with the schedule. They've uh, something got damaged on the airplane, and they're working on the airplane. Okay, yeah. so it may still be able to fly. Yes, mm -hmm. okay. hopefully. We're just Great. we're swapping her and Matt to give them a little bit of extra time. I got it. All right, Matt is flying in Julie's place. Julie's airplane is broken. They're trying to fix it, so they're flip-flop. Oh, there's your 10 minutes back. Well, no, not if Julie, if she gets her airplane fixed, it isn't. But if it, yeah, it'll work out perfect if she can't get it fixed. The good news is this puts us back on schedule. But let's see how long it lasts. Yeah, is uh, Julie going to have to scratch? Is there a possibility of that? Should I be getting ready? Uh, we do not know that at the moment. Her and Matt have changed the swap, so uh, right now, uh, Julie's last. Okay, so I'll be after Matt then. Yeah, you'll be after Matt. Air Boss, this is Air Crash Command. After the shockwave makes his run, are we going to have a few minutes to uh, extinguish the fires in and around the runway? You're going to have ample time to finish. Just got a call from Crash Fire Rescue that uh, the completion of the jet truck run they need to do the runway sweep, where they'll drive down the runway to make sure there's no foreign objects laying on the runway. This is very, very important because jets have uh, air intakes, and if there's anything out there, it'll suck it up, and it could fought out or completely destroy a jet engine. I have a small amount of time built in for this so that it doesn't uh, infringe upon the time that the snowbirds take the uh, runway. Go ahead, Julie. 
we're, we're, we're getting these flaps up slowly, um, like they're overriding the motor, which got toasted. Um, is there any chance I can fly after Susie and those guys? Yeah, that's your time slot. Oh, okay, I thought I was following Matt. No, you're following... Uh... Okay, how many more minutes is that? Because we still got to put the floorboards in and the seat in. Well, you've got, uh, you basically got about uh, 15 minutes. I'm on time, and now I'm off time again. Julie has uh, got her aircraft fixed. She's ready to fly. So uh, it's, uh, it's back trying to hunt down those minutes and uh, get the uh, air show back on time. All right, I think the broke airplane is unbroken. <laughs> this is getting more complicated by the second. Now, we have a race that's coming up. It's a challenge race between Kyle Franklin and it is Rick Darnell. It is one of a kind truck. Tensions are rising as the race is about to begin. Who will take the prize? Will Kyle Franklin have the last laugh? Or will the jet truck triumph on the airplane's home turf? The headlining race is moments away as Chris and his team brace themselves for their opportunity to show the pilots what the jet truck is made of. Uh, the race is about to start. The crowd is up against the fence. Uh, anytime that jet truck is out there, that crowd moves up against the fence. So the announcer is uh, saying, you know, he's who thinks the airplane's going to win, and you hear all the cheers, and who thinks the jet truck's going to win, hear all the cheers and that. Uh, I'm talking to Kyle on the radio. You know, Kyle's ready to go. Well, we've got the airplane folks. If, uh, we've got something to uphold here. The and ladies and gentlemen, we have a race. Clearly, Kyle Franklin has the lead. From a 300 miles per hour. Well, the race is off and the race is over. Didn't take long, but uh, the jet truck won. He was probably doing about 360 miles an hour, and uh, I'll tell you, it was cool. With the race now complete and the end of the day show in sight, Wayne just needs to ensure the runway is cleaned up for the Snowbirds' performance. Air crash command, if you can wrap all that up and just as quickly as possible, let me know when your folks are clear. We're not going to fly today. So I, I, I would like to talk right, on the stage in the Sorry about all that. Julie just uh, came up uh, and informed me. She had her aircraft all fixed and was ready to go, and unfortunately, the mechanical reaffirmed itself and uh, she's not going to be able to fly. It's unfortunate, uh, her sponsor is there and it I know it, it pains her greatly that she's not going to be able to perform in front of the crowd. But uh, Julie made the right decision. Uh, that's why she's uh, one of the best of the best of the best in the business. Julie, it's all yours. Danny, thank you. And I, I've got to tell you, this is the most difficult thing. The race is over. We've got one more performance. That's with the Canadian Snowbirds. Uh, I do believe we're going to end right on time. As Julie descends from the rooftop to a wave of support, Wayne is about to find that his troubles are still far from over. We got one box over there that didn't pop. All right, about show center for them. Can they blow it up after the show? It's all right with you if you want to fly them. But I got to move that trailer, too, to get their show center set. Oh, you can't be doing that now? Oh, I'm Christ. trying. Huh? I'm trying to get, do that now, but they've got a hot box right where that goes. Let's, let's blow, blow it. It needs to be blown now. Well, I think I've spoke too soon. I just got a call uh, that one of the explosive devices that was used in the pyrotechnics uh, with the jet truck will not detonate. That means uh, they are gonna have to explode this device before they can clear out the pyro field and before we can put the snowbirds into the air. Boy, this is, this is a mess. Air crash command, boss. We're gonna be a few more minutes. We got a lot more fire than we did last night. Yeah, it appears so. Uh, give me an estimate. Five could be 
I'm actually about ready to throw my hands up and just say, why me? <laughs> I can't think this slow. <laughs> Air pause. Air crash. Go ahead, man. Three, one, back up. You can go ahead and start moving your plane. OK, real good. Well, I'll say this for this show. It had more moves than a caterpillar. But no hits, no runs, no errors. It's been a wild day in Memphis, and now the jet truck prepares for a spectacular victory lap in the form of a night show. There's just more things that can go wrong in a, in a night show, and this is the finale of the show. This is what everybody's here to, to see. So we don't want to disappoint, and I'm sure we will. After completion of the day with all the events that happened, you know, most of us were wound tighter than a cheap watch in a bucket of magnets. It's, uh, it's a good thing to have a very anticlimactic ending, uh, and, and that's what happened with the night show. It was very serene. It was just very, very entertaining, and uh, I didn't even have to talk the horns off a dead goat to make it that way, so uh, it worked out very, very well. I'm happy. Next week on Air Boss, we're back at the Memphis Air Show, where turbulent weather threatens to put a damper on Wayne's day. The jet truck's mechanic is put to the test during a high-risk smoke and fire show, and performer Julie Clark works desperately on getting her aircraft fixed in hopes of finally taking flight for the crowds of Memphis.